what's happening? What's happening? So, um, Richardson is disqualified. She's not competing in the Olympics because it came out that she smoked weed, you know? But yeah, that little plant that's now pretty much legal, damn near all across the country, you know? Yeah, the same, uh, hell, her university now sells weed. LSU is in the weed business. But yeah, let's just disqualify her um, because she smoked weed, right? Despite the fact that there's a federal initiative right now to legalize weed, <laughs> you know, this is amazing. It's amazing, right, that white folks can smoke up an entire city of weed, can smoke up all of Oxford, Mississippi in weed. But let your black ass smoke it, right? But anyway. I don't want her to run. I'm glad she's disqualified. I hey, hey, listen to me. I want all of us to stop it. I want all of us to stop entertaining white people with our athletic agility. I want parents to stop entertaining stadiums full of racist ass white people with the athletic agility of their child. I don't know what this pressure is that you're under, right? that you must backfeed the supply line of African-American athletes in order to keep them entertained, okay? At what point you're gonna realize they don't give a fuck about you unless you're running, jumping, hopping, or you have a tray in your hand, or if you have some kind of uniform on, if you're saluting them in a uniform. Other than that, they don't give a fuck about you. So the fact that she's not participating in it is a victory for intellectuals like me. I don't want to see us doing that kind of shit anymore. Why? Because African Americans are at the bottom of every economic poll, every every economic statistic, every every indicator. We're really last in every category. Okay? But we're number one in all of the sports bullshit. Anything that's involving a ball, we're number one. But I don't see Jeff Bezos children running around a track in their draws. Okay? So, when Bill and Melinda Gates' children are running around a track in their underwear, then we can have this discussion about Richardson not being able to compete. Because the reality of it is, is the people that they want running around a track in their draws are African American women. Right? The exploitation of us based on our physical attributions is still taking place today. The only difference is black parents are signing their kids up to get exploited. We need the data boy of white people. We're addicted to the data boy of white people. Most of us don't even think we have good kids unless they're doing something that wins the applause of white people. Richardson, take this opportunity to go do something with your mind. Okay, if you really want to be impressive, if you really want to set records, if you really want the world to gain to take note of you, right, then stop using your body and running around the track in your drawers. And hey, let's take this opportunity to go accomplish something with our minds. Football players, hey, 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 hey take off the fucking uniform. And take this opportunity in time, this wonderful opportunity while we're at the dawn of quantum computers, right? Quantum analytics. Let's take this opportunity to learn something new, to learn something that will that will end poverty in African American communities, that we can build something, right, amongst ourselves that will sufficiently fund our inner city schools. So we can rid ourselves of these racist ass white teachers who are backfeeding and, so, and really, really the main number one vendor of, of the of, of pipeline that takes us from kindergarten to Angola State Prison. If you really want to do something for us guys, quit this shit with sports and focus on the advancement of colored people. The same organization that started in the early 1900s with a group of progressives like W.E. Du Bois, right, who said, you know, enough of this, of, of us working on these farms and all this physical shit. We're smarter. We're smarter than this shit. We're smarter than this. 
when they respect us mentally, only then will black life matter. Until then, hey, you're just cargo. You're just human merchandise. That's for their own entertainment.